Hi, everyone. My name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com, where we talk about all things sound and hearing health. And today we want to talk about a very specific myth that we've recently seen online related to bone conduction headphones and hearing health. Now, if you're not familiar, bone conduction headphones leave your ear open and they send vibrations through the bones in your head. They're great for runners or people with sensitive ear canals. But recently, we've seen people reporting online that bone conduction headphones are safer than regular headphones. But before you crank up the volume on your bone conduction headphones, let's take a closer look at this claim. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm joined by our audiology lead, Dr. Amy Sorrow. Dr. Amy, what's your take on this topic? Yeah, I think that this is a great thing to discuss. So part of it is understanding the way that sound travels through the ear. Essentially, when we're wearing normal headphones, over the ear, it's going to travel to the, you know, as sound waves to the eardrum, which moves, then it becomes mechanical energy, moves the bones behind the eardrum, which pushes on the fluids in the cochlea, and that's going to travel up to the brain. That would be the traditional way. Now with bone conduction headphones, it's still going to travel down that pathway. It's just, we're going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, and the bone is going to be moved by that headphone and then it's going to continue on traveling from there. So it's moving the bones of your skull. And yes, it's correct when people say, oh, it's not, you know, making use of your eardrum, sort of. But that doesn't mean that it's not having the same impact that it would if you were wearing regular headphones. Again, it's still going to reach your inner ear and you can still do damage if you send sounds that are too loud down that, that hearing pathway. I think this is an important conversation because many people think about their ears and they know that they have eardrums. Um, and I think many people think that hearing loss might occur in that earlier phase. And I know there are some types of hearing loss that can occur before the cochlea. But for most folks, hearing loss doesn't occur at the eardrum. It's occurring deeper in their ear inside the cochlea. And it sounds like what you're saying is that a bone conduction headphone is sending the same signal right into the cochlea that an air conduction headphone would be. So in, in essence, delivering the same type of risks with headphone volume that you might experience with a traditional pair of headphones. That's exactly right. So you can still, when we think about those inner ear hair cells, you can still do damage to those. And that's noise induced hearing loss. Like you mentioned, that's not happening at the eardrum. It's happening there in the inner ear. So if I'm someone who wears bone conduction headphones and I'm hearing this video, realizing it's not necessarily protecting my hearing per se, what can I do to prevent noise-induced hearing loss while I wear these devices? So again, the level is key. It's the same regardless of what type of headphone you use. You don't want to be maxing out the, the volume on your device. So probably you're going to be using the bone conduction headphones with a cell phone or an iPad, some other device um, that's attached that you're maybe controlling the volume. So just make sure you're not maxing it out. Try to stay at 60, 70 percent um, somewhere in there is going to keep you safer. And with bone conduction headphones, you'll have more awareness of your environment, which is one of the advantages of wearing them, as you mentioned, for runners, people that need to know for safety reasons. But you don't want to turn it up over the volume of your surroundings. Well, there you have it. Bone conduction headphones are a great option for some people who want to be aware of their environment, maybe runners, people who are in a city environment. Uh, but don't forget that normal headphone rules apply and bone conduction headphones are not necessarily protecting your hearing in any way. Keep your volume to a manageable level and consider the health of your ears as you're listening to content throughout your day. So Dr. Amy, thank you for your time and to you, the viewer, we wish you the best. 